In this demo, we'll go over how to upgrade to Windows 10 from a device that currently has Windows 7 or Windows 8 with the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2013 Update 2. Now, if you don't have MDT and you need to get it installed, this link shown on the screen will allow you or it will give you the system requirements and the prerequisites that you'll need in order to uh, su successfully install uh, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2013. This link is also supplied in the uh, PowerPoint decks from the Windows 10 um, Education Workshop. Now, because this environment already has MDT installed, we won't actually be going through the MDT installation. But what we need to do at this point is run the deployment wizard that, or the deployment workbench that gets installed for MDT 2013. <clears throat> so go into your start menu and expand the all apps view by clicking the arrow at the bottom if you're running Windows Server 2012 or 2012 R2. And then scroll over to the right and select deployment workbench. And when you select deployment workbench, um, you'll be brought to a location here that shows your deployment shares. If you have any, then you'll see them listed here. If you don't, then you'll have to create one. In our case, we're going to go ahead and create a brand new deployment share. So let's we'll right click on deployment shares and say new deployment share. And then specify a location of the new deployment share. So in this case, I'm going to select, I'm going to create uh, deployment share one. And the deployment share is nothing more than just a location of files that are going to be used for imaging purposes. This would include ap applications, the operating system, source files, uh, things like that. So we're going to click next. And then we need to create a share name. So I'm going to create deployment share one. And it'll have a dollar sign at the end. And this dollar sign is really just to show that this is a hidden share. It's to hide the share. So if someone were to try to enumerate all the shares on this server, they won't be able to see our deployment shares. They won't have access to our operating systems or our application files. Let's go ahead and click next. And then specify the name for the share. I'm just calling this MBT deployment share one. And then we have some options here to select for what the deployment wizard shows as a user is going through that wizard. In our case for the upgrades, the only thing we really need to focus on here is this ask for BitLocker, ask if BitLocker should be enabled. I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want this question being asked as I go through the upgrade. And then just take the defaults through the rest of the wizard. And now we have our deployment share. Like I mentioned earlier, deployment share contains files that are going to be associated with deploying operating systems. So in this case, we have applications, we have operating systems, we'll have drivers, packages, which are actually uh, software updates, um, or hotfix updates for Windows, um, as well as task sequences. And then we also have advanced configuration settings that we can set and some additional monitoring. Um, this demo isn't going to go through the configuration and the monitoring pieces. Now, the first thing we need to do is get an operating system um, imported into MDT. So we're going to right click on operating systems and select import operating system. And we're going to select full set of source files. And these source files are your extracted ISO files that you get from volume licensing or from MSDN. So you'll need to mount that ISO, extract the files out of that ISO, and then use those to import into MDT. You can also use WIM files as well as Windows Deployment Services images. But for the purposes of this demo, we won't be going through those. So next we need to point to where our source files are, and I've already downloaded these files. So I'm going to point to my Windows 10, 15, 11 education source files. And what you'll notice here in the file name is that I've got this 1511 designation in the name of the folder. And what this is, is the version number of Windows 10. So with Windows 10, we have a month and year, um, or a year and month rather, um, designation for the names of these releases. So when Windows 10 first came out in July of 2015, it was called 1507. The next release came in November of 2015, and that's 1511. As we move forward, this, name, this naming nomenclature is going to be used. This is also the education version, and it's also the 64-bit version. This media is going to be used to upgrade a Windows 7 Enterprise device to Windows 10 education 64-bit. The Windows 10 or the Windows 7 Enterprise device that will be upgraded is also 64-bit. 
So I can do a architecture upgrade of Windows 7 64-bit directly to Windows 10 64-bit. But if I was using a Windows 7 32-bit device, I wouldn't be able to go to Windows 10 64-bit. Your architectures have to match. So if we're going from 32-bit to Windows 10, we have to go to Windows 10 32-bit. So if you're doing an architecture change, you will have to do a wipe and load. You won't be able to do an in-place upgrade. But for your devices that are already running a specific version, you can do your in-place upgrade. So if you're running 64-bit Windows 7, go ahead and do a Windows 10 64-bit in-place upgrade. The same holds true for Windows 8 too. If you're using Windows 8 64-bit, then you have to upgrade to Windows 10 64-bit. So let's select our source files. And I'm gonna copy these into my deployment share, but if I didn't wanna copy or if I didn't have enough disk space, then I could go through and I can move the files um, to the deployment share instead of copying them. But I'm gonna copy them um, because that's, I just wanna keep that, that media in that location. Next, I need to give a, my directory a name and I'm gonna customize this and just call it Windows 10 Education 1511 x 64. And I'm just gonna click uh, next through the rest of the wizard. And this is gonna copy from my downloads folder to my deployment share operating systems folder. Um, and once this is complete, then I'll, the image will show up in, the, in my deployment share and it'll also show up in the MDT um, deployment workbench. So we can see here that the image is in the deployment workbench. And if we go to the file system, we can see on the E drive under deployment share one that I have Windows 10 Education 1511 x64, and these are the source files. Now in our deployment workbench, we need to create a task sequence. And a task sequence is just a set of steps that MDT will use to apply an operating system. And we have templates that we use to create these task sequences. So I want to select a, a brand new task sequence. And for my task sequence ID, I'm just going to give it one. Um, the ID number doesn't really matter. You can put whatever numbers in there you want. And then for the task sequence, for the task sequence name, we're going to use Windows 10 Education 1511x64. And we'll go ahead and click Next. And for the template, we want to use the standard client upgrade task sequence. And then click Next select the image that we imported earlier. And for our product key, we do not need to specify a product key at this time. And for the organization, we will call this Bruno Labs. You can call this whatever you wish for your organization. And we do not need to specify a admin password because we will use the local admin password for the local admin account that's already on the device, if there's one there. And for our summary, we'll just go ahead and click next through the rest of the wizard and finish. So now we have our task sequence and we are ready to do the upgrade to Windows uh, Windows 10 from our Windows 7 Enterprise device. So now we're logged into a Windows 7 machine and this Windows 7 machine has Office installed on it. We have a few documents here on the desktop. We've got some icons here on the taskbar for Word and Excel. And now we're ready to do the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and run the MDT Light Touch VBS script. Um, that's what's going to kick off the deployment wizard. But I need to access this from the MDT server. So I'm going to go to my start menu, search for run. And then here I have my MDT server. So I've got MDT uh, deployment shirt two dollar sign and then scripts light touch dot VBS. So we're going to click on open and this will kick off the deployment wizard and it'll ask me to log in and it will present me with the task sequence that I created for Windows 10 Education 1511. So I'll just select my task sequence and then I'll click begin. Now this process will take a little bit of time. There's some download, there is some downloading that's gonna go on and we'll have to go out to the MDT server and download the content and then apply that content 
So at this point, um, we'll wait for the wizard or the uh, installation progress to show up. And we'll see here that it goes through a number of different actions and it's going to stick on this upgrade OS piece for a little bit of time. So we'll go ahead and pause the video um, as we go through the installation and um, we'll resume once we move on past the upgrade of the um, OS progress here. So MDT has finished doing the work it needs to do. Um, that and Windows Setup have finished what they need to do within the operating system. So now we're um, rebooting and Windows Setup will continue. So now Windows Setup is going through and it's upgrading Windows. And this process will take some time. It's got to copy files and then install and then configure additional settings. So the copy file step has completed and now we're in the process of installing Windows features and drivers. So Windows has completed installing features and drivers and now it's moved on to configuring settings and it's just about complete. So MBT has completed the upgrade of the OS successfully and we're ready to click finish and get into Windows 10. So we'll go ahead and unlock this device. And then we'll type in our password. And Windows now will go in through its uh, welcome process and set up the universal Windows applications. And we're now back at the desktop with Windows 10 installed. We have our, our documents are in the same place they were before. We are now running Windows 10 Education. And the Start menu comes up with our Start Tiles. And if we go into the Settings application, we can go to System and About. And this will show us the name of our device, the version of Windows 10 that is running in Windows 10 Education. And that concludes the demo of doing your in-place upgrade with Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2013 Update 2.